Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a miniature pincher on the Rainbow Loom. I think he came out adorable, and he has beautiful cropped ears. And I put caramel within the ears. You don't have to do that. You can make it all black, too, if you want. And I used caramel and just basic black for this design. I made a short little tail. If you want to make the a longer tail, you can do that, too. And if you want a very dark tail um, without any tail at all, I'll show you how to do that, too. But a couple of these dogs have just very short docked ones. So... Let's get started. This is the miniature pincher. Okay, it's a once again it's a staggered position. Arrows facing down. And we're gonna be using black and caramel for this dog. And you can use beads for the eyes. And this I use the um, camo pack. There's like a like a brown shade in there, so this is um, that shade. You can use burgundy also. So Double bands black. I'm going to start on the top. And they're all double blank bands. And he's not going to take that many bands. It's a small dog. Okay, so one set here, here, and here. Then another set of double on the right side. And then another set on the left. And then one more black in the middle. Now we're going into caramel. So we're going to be the snout area. So it's two black and one double caramel right here. Then we're doing double black, big stretch, another double black on the left side. Okay, neck area, triple black. And his body is going to be all black with caramel right here, and the legs will be caramel at the bottom also. So the body is four stitches long, and it's going to be four double bands of the black. There's one, two, and three, and four. Okay, push that down. Now we're going into the shoulder area, and it's going to be black again. All double. And we're just working our way down. And then we're going to connect these two pins. And then we're going to work on that left side. And just working our way down again. Now let's work with the tail. The tail on this one is only two stitches long. So if you want a short little tail, you can do that. If you want a little bit longer, you can do four inch, four stitches. But I'll show you really quickly how to do the two. And then I'm going to show you um, just a flat tail on this one. So if you want to make this tail, I'm going to show you right now. It's going to be a single black wrapped around the hook three times. So one, two, three. Then two stitches of the black. These are double. It's one. And then two. Okay. So then you place that right here. And now if I'm going to make this dog right here a totally flat one without um, a tail. 
So if you want the two stitch one, you can put it here. If you want to make it longer, you can do that too. But a totally non-existent tail docked <laughs> would be a double. Place it on the pin and then wrap it around twice. So this is one and two. So you just wrap it around twice. Okay, the legs. Legs are going to be the little black claws plus two stitches of caramel and two of black. So you place a single black one, two, three, four times. Then two stitches of double caramel. So that's one, two, now we're going into the black, and then another black. Okay, and then we're going to place it right here. Okay, and then we're going to repeat on this side. Single black, one, two, three, four. Then your double caramel. Another double. And then your double black. The complete four stitches and you're going to place it right here. Okay, now the hind legs. Same like this one. It's going to be two caramel and then the rest black. Single black, one, two, three, four. Double caramel. Another double, then a double black, put this to the side, let's go to the loom, place a double black here, and then another here, and then we're going to place our leg on that this pin. We're going to loom this one on the left first. Then the right and you have your thigh. Okay, we're going to place it on these two pins. Repeat on this side. Single black, one, two, three, and four. Double caramel. Another double caramel. Then your double black. Put to the side your double right here, and then right here. Place this on this pin and use go to the left on the left first. a 
it off the loom, place it on these two pins. Okay, so now we'll make, we're going to add two caramel bands to this area on the chest and that's going to be right here. So place one single just right on top of these bands. Then you're going to place another single on top of that and now we can start with the structural bands. It's a single black. I'm going to make a triangle. Single black. And another single black. Okay, so let's make the little snout area. It's going to be a single black wrapped on the hook four times. One, two, three, and four. Then a triple of the caramel. And slide that nose right on there. Bring it back on the hook. Then you're going to use black, a single black, and slide the nails, the snout there, and then we're going to place on these two pins. And then we're going to bring it down so it lays on the bottom of this pin, just like that. Okay, so now the eyes. I'm going to use in the camo pack, the darker shade of brown. You can use burgundy, any other, any color you'd like. So it's going to be a single wrapped four times around. And you can also do that figure eight method. Just make a figure eight and then wrap around again. Then you take a single black and slide them on there. You can use beads too. And place them right here on these two pins. Okay, separate the eyes. Let it hang on top of this pin. And that are your eyes. Okay, so now the ears. I made them cropped and pointy. I just love how they came out. So I'm going to show you um, how to make this style. And if you don't want the caramel in the middle, you can use black. So I've seen a lot of pictures where they have like the caramel in the middle and I just think that it's adorable. So it's going to be a single black wrapped four times on the hook. One, two, three, and four. Take a double black slide that right in the middle, move the, toward the back, take a caramel and wrap it on the hook three times. One, two, and three. Bring this back on the hook. So now it looks like this. Okay, pretty simple. Then you take a single black, twist it upon itself, and slide everything on the single black. Okay, and then bring it back on, and then place it right here. Okay, and then we're going to make another one. So a single black, one, two, three, and four. Then a double black. Slide that right on there in the middle. Bring that back over here on the hook. Take a single caramel, wrap three times. One, two, and three. Bring this back on the hook. Then you take a single and twist it upon itself, black, 
slide it on there. Get all the caramel first. Bring it back on. And then place it right here. Okay, so keep it like that. And now we're going to start looming. And we'll start at the bottom. Make sure your dog looks like this. And we'll start now. Okay, so our first stitch is going to be this one on the left. So go underneath your little cap and band tail. Grab that left band and bring it to the left pin. Then grab this right and bring it to the right pin. Okay, now we're grabbing this middle one. forward. Okay, we're stopping. Now we're going to just grab the black bands on the bottom. Okay, so just the black on the bottom. Pretty simple. Just moving forward. We're not grabbing this caramel, just black on the bottom. Wait, you know what? I'm going to grab the caramel anyway. Grab the caramel too, because it'll make a tighter fit, tighter chest area. So we are grabbing this and this. Okay, and now we're grabbing this diagonal band. And stopping right there. And now we're going to do the same for this. So just the bottom black. And once again, we're grabbing the caramel and the black. Now this diagonal, and we're stopping. Now we're going to grab the neck area, it's triple band, and our first band will be this long stretch on the left. Okay, then our next on the right. And now we have this caramel in the middle, and we're going to bring it over the snout. Just going to open it up, let it go through the middle, and just let it rest on this pen. Then we're grabbing this black, and the next black. Now the side of the head, and this diagonal. Okay, the left side, and the left diagonal. Okay, and this is it. So now we need a double of the black. Make sure yours looks like this. Place it through. And we're going to make a slip knot. Pull, and now we can take it off the loom. Take it off slowly. Okay, 
and now the nose, bring it up. Okay, so here is our regular dog that's already done. And now ours is flat. We're gonna turn this little guy into this. So back of the head, put your finger and push the head out. Fix his nose up. And play around with the eyes, make sure that they're nice. Pull the ears up. Pull the arms, legs. Now we're gonna make the neck more upright. Place your hook right through that triple. Do tugs, and it goes more up. I'm gonna show you how to fix the ears at the end. And now we have, we're gonna sew the body shut. You need a black band and a pair of scissors. Okay, so this breed has the, the uh, caramel in the front. So what we're gonna do is fix the caramel bands so that they're even. Just fix it like that. Bring that out. Okay, and that's your chest area. And now I'm going to find this, go underneath the caramel, and there's this black stitch and this caramel. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sew him shut and I'm gonna use a black band. So I went through two black here. You can see right here, the black and the caramel, black and caramel. Go underneath both of them. Bring your hook just like that and make sure you make your little slip knot toward the bottom of the belly area. Just like that, so it's more prominent. You don't really see this little knot in this area, so when you fold it, he'll look like this. So then we go to the next stitch of black. And then you're gonna pull that band right through. And then we'll go to the next stitch. And we're just sewing him shut. I lost my band. Yeah, let me do it again. Okay. And you can stop right there. You can go a little bit farther down, another stitch, whatever you like. Okay, so he's sewn. Now you need your scissors. Snip the end, and we're gonna tie the, um, the loose band underneath to anchor it. And then we're gonna sew it shut. Now let me tie it shut. Just make like three knots. Okay, so you can hide the excess within the dog or you can snip it. Please be careful, don't cut yourself or the dog. Bring the thighs down, the legs, neck up. Now we're gonna make little paws and we're gonna separate these claws out. Pull on the bottom and it makes it flat. So we're gonna do that with all three, all four. Do a slight tug on the bottom. Same in the back. Make 
makes it flat. Okay, and you can see he's coming into shape now. And if you have a little tail, you can keep it straight like this. I kept mine straight. Or if you want it just a little bit bent up, you can place your hook right underneath it and just do some tucks. It'll go up a little bit like that. So he has a little tail. This one is totally docked. Now we're going to hide this in the back of the head. We're just going to sew it. I'm just going to hide the excess inside the back of the head. It makes it more 3D too. Okay, so the ears. I want the ears more upright on the top of the head. So you're going to pull it out and you're going to see this single that we um, attached it to and there's a double right here. So we're going to pull this up, hold this double in the back, and just, just slightly move it forward. And it's going to make it go more straight up. And it's going to change the shape of the ear too. So this is before and this is after. So we're going to do this again. I'm going to pull this up, find that double, hold the back of the head, bring it forward. You can see it in the forward now, and it changed it. So now you can separate and find that caramel that's in the middle of the ear. I have one black band right there, okay? Now, there I have the four bands on the top. You can, the four, well, that's the single with the four, we wrapped four times around. You can keep him like this. Or what I did with this dog to make it a little bit more pointy, I just moved the left band and the right band down and kept two in the middle for like a little point. So you can see a little difference. This one's more like, you know, flat and this one's more pointy. So you can just move the band two on the side, and it's more pointy. And if you want more caramel, you can use your hook and just bring it out. Show more. And I think he came out really nice. I'm going to fix his eye a little bit. And you can just play around with him. And the ears are upright. His eyes look beautiful, and you can fix his nose so it's more straight. And I think he came out nice. And I think we have one little band on the nose that's astray. And he came out nice. And he has the modeling in the front, and he just came out so beautiful. So this is him with the dock tail. And this is a little bit longer tail. And this is your miniature pincher. So please subscribe to Lovely Love Bird Designs if you like this dog. And I have a couple other dog tutorials too. Okay, see you. Bye. There is one more thing I need to tell you. How to place the caramel on top of the eye. If you want the caramel to look like this dog, it is simple and easy. So you, this is the dog that we just made. And you just take a single caramel, twist it, bring it upon itself, so it's just a single twist, just like that. And then we're going to just go right underneath these black bands with the hook. And then you're going to bring this through, the single twist, right underneath the black bands. Okay, and then you can fix it up 
and should be equal on both sides. So I'll show you again. Just a single twist, bring it underneath the black bands. So some on the right side, some on the left side, and you have some caramel on top of the eyes. You can fix it up, make sure, you know, the way that you like it. So, this is how the dog looks. I think you, I think it came out really, really cute. So, this is Lovely Love for Designs. I hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.